Right, we're going into it, I guess. So, um, I can, yeah, Fair is just... Just uh, checking the audio <laughs> to see uh, if everything was fine. And since that, the volume is good. So, I think we're good. good to go. Yeah, it's good to go. Um, Fair is, uh, is, uh, is being a bit mean to you, I see, in the, in the chat. But, uh... Nah, it's always <laughs> like that. Yeah, I know he is. That's how we love him. Um, but yeah, as I said, New England, Iroquois versus Iroquois. Uh, Kaiser Klein versus Iron Turk, sort of a grudge match. So uh, it should be really good to watch, as I said. But um, the crate start here matters quite a lot, and it yeah, is a yeah. It's, cool. Yeah, so uh, gold starts probably the worst start mm-hmm. for both uh, for both players because they're on both both the same sieve, but um, it doesn't matter too much because they both get the same start. And uh, more than likely, we're going to see just a normal fifteen village up or fourteen villa if they get nice treasures. Yeah, just checking the map real quick. Everyone got the same amount of hands and stuff like that. Um, one, two, three. Seems fine in terms of hands. Although, I think Kaiser Klein is missing the goal mine. Um, they're, they're equal, it's just the placement of Kaiser is a bit funny. Yeah. They both have uh, four on each side, uh, one on base. So, um, yeah, I mean, uh, is that a bugged treasure? Yeah, there's a bug treasure as well, but that doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, hopefully you have one flag, so we're good to go, I think. Yeah, good to go. And uh, as you said, um, a matchup which you can really basically do anything with. Um, either players can do whatever they want. Two stray dogs is uh, is a really good treasure, actually, if Kaiser comes across it, which I think he will do. And so, and a settler as well. Settler. Yeah, that settler's... Uh, Pretty good, especially with a black bear because you can you can convert one and use it to tank. Yeah, that's true. It's already got one, so won't be able to convert uh, another for the time being. But it might be something you will work on later on. Yeah, and uh, at the same time, Turk's now going to get a um, a tomahawk, and he also got a Cherokee rifleman. So uh, and the outlaw rifleman as well. So he's got like a, a bit of a Pokemon army here, as um, as Will likes to say. <laughs> And uh, because uh, neither player can get a TP up in in the first stage, they're gonna have to get up in transition. So um, Kaiser might have some trouble getting a TP up, which would be pretty yeah, bad actually. Yeah, definitely. Cherokee, Renegado, plus a Tomahawk is definitely something you have to keep in mind, especially since Kaiser lost a few HP in his hero, and he's probably gonna go for um, the settler treasure also. So he might lose even more HP. Yeah, yeah he's gonna tank with the hero. It would have been better for him to tank the bears, maybe, because uh, that's an extra 103 HP, which basically just sits there. But he is going to get a, um, a settler, so he's basically going to be one villager ahead of um, of Turk. But uh, again, I, I think Turk's in a better position here, just after age one. Kaiser is aging 13 wheels, I think. 13? Yeah, plus the settler. He's oh. going to age up super fast compared to Turk. Maybe it won't matter too much that Turk's got that army, man. Is he is, he's going for the wise woman, though. He's not going for the messenger. Nice use of the crack shots. He's going to focus the Renegado first, which is the unit doing the most damage. He does need to be careful, though. That Cherokee might go down, oh. but... Um... I don't think he can TP here. He's going to go back to his DC. Yeah, he can't even use a villager, can he? Because these two units don't have um, Malice's versus villagers, so... Yeah, he might, be, he might have a bit of trouble here. He's going to go for market instead, by the looks of it. And maybe he'll do it when he get, yeah. uh, ages up instead. I think he could go forward perhaps with his start. Since he's aging super fast compared to, to Hein Turk. And yeah, that forward warhut gives quite a lot of map control, really, because of the, um, the trading person, I said. This, this one in particular down the bottom is basically controlled by that warhut if you put it down there. But uh, mm. at the same time, Turk is going up with the, the same uh, age up, the wise woman, but he's not going for a market and base. He's just going to chop and get a TP down, which is better. But um, yeah, if, we'll just have to wait and see where Kaiser puts his travel while. It's interesting because 244 on the gold, uh, sorry, 344 age up on the gold start. And you might be thinking he aged fast, actually, but he didn't. So this could be something um, Turk would have to keep in mind. Yeah, and uh, the expo is almost definitely going to get that TP up as well. So the, the malice of having um, those uh, 
it was Pokemon army that he did have it, it's not going to be too, uh, too large you might even lose the two units as well actually from the explorer when he stops um stops building <laughs> this explorer is so strong yeah the explorer is a bit ridiculous <laughs> The uh, 750 HP crack shot like a cannon, and uh... oh, it does actually need to be careful though. Um, the Turk, uh, yeah, Kaiser, even he might lose a villager. But uh, it's all about what they ship first. I mean, if Kaiser ships five uh, five villagers first, and then uh, he probably isn't rushing. But I expect it like Kanyo, right? As his first shipment. Um. <clears throat> Not sure about that. He's got five tomahawks, so it's going to be the big bottom and four cannon. Yeah. yeah, so he's going to go aggressive actually. So this is a bit like uh, what Russia does with the Cossacks and the Musketeers in a way, but uh, that that Warhot's definitely going to go up in base. Turk does still have a big button, so uh, I I don't think he's too worried here. I mean, he also has a crack shot from that uh, Explorer, which is just insane. But uh, he might lose the Explorer. Yeah, hmm. It's gonna run a bit with him. Full Kenny first for I'm Turk too. And perhaps the big button also. Let's see. I guess he's gonna kill a deal here. And I'll fight the Kenny and probably put the Tomax in me again. Yeah. Really good versus cat. There's the, uh, I believe that's the big button just uh, done from. Yeah, big button from Turk. But uh, Kaiser has the bigger mass here. Although yeah. he doesn't have his explorer, which may actually end up hurting him quite a lot. His explorer's just been sitting back because it's been on 100 HP that whole time. And um, Kaze can't fight this because of how many tomahawks are there. Yeah, but the main time, uh, Buffy is going for the same build, but Turk being idle, his entire economy, meanwhile. Oh, yeah, actually, that is something like to, uh, to, uh, to keep in regard. But uh, at the same time. Kaiser's now setting a couple of tomahawks up to the TP at the top. Oh, he's probably going to try and siege that down. And yeah. uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he sent crates and just took the TP line himself. Oh, seven Aenas now from Turk. That's, that's uh, an yeah. interesting shipment. Yeah, it's uh, really aggressive from I'm Turk. Maybe he was expecting Kaiser to go for a more only in the order, but he's going to five deals as a follow up. And uh, yeah, now Turk being really aggressive and probably will have to make something happen with this uh, with this military shipment. Yeah, exactly. Um, he can't sit in base. By the looks of it, he's going to try and take a 235 coin treasure, which is obviously a nice treasure to take. That uh, Explorer being quite low HP now, though. So, with that Explorer being actually... Yeah, that Explorer taking a lot of damage from those pirates. And, and one thing to note is Turk can't really push, simply because the Explorer is so low HP. Because if it goes down, he's just a, a disadvantage compared to Kaiser, mm -hmm. who, who has kept his explorer way back. And, uh, yeah, Kaiser's selling five villages as well as uh, as the uh, opposing uh, shipment compared to seven hyenas. And he's not even that far behind in uh, military units there. He's he's basically what, seven hyena and uh, two tomahawks down, but he's also got a couple more hyenas. Uh, no, hyenas, uh, can you? Yeah, he's going to kill another deal. So Turkey is two wheels behind plus uh, the five villages shipment, and he probably even idled his TC while he was being pushed. So another wheel being behind actually. Yeah, and there's six tomahawks. So these are just aggressive shipments. This is quite a large push, but uh, at the same oh, time, maybe trying to hitch or something. Yeah, I don't know what Kaiser's doing. He's got a lot of food. Maybe he's gonna send. Uh, no, he sent six resources crates, but he's just picking them up now. But does Kaiser really care too much if he loses that war hut? Like, obviously it's, it's bad, but uh, it's not too bad. Well, if he it's, ages. it's only way to produce units right now, so... Regarding his um, resources stacked, he's going to try to age, but he's got a lot of food and not enough coin to age. Yeah, he's, he's, he's missing out on 600 coin, and there is a couple of coin in base. He is now building a war hut in his base of his own, but... Uh, Turk now going to siege down his TP. Uh, he's going to get a lot of XP from this. He got 100 XP from the, uh, the uh, war, war hut going down. And, yeah, I don't know really who's in a better position here. Kaiser now building a small wall. He's um, just a couple of wall segments. Should be quite I nice. Uh, Kaiser just sold a um, few hundreds of food to get extra coin. He's making yeah, war huts and a small wall in base, but... 
This is still a scary push from Iron Turk. Uh, Pentagon H has to be really careful with his uh, Trawai Jar. Because if he loses that, then that might, that might be big. Yeah, and now five uh, five villagers coming in from Turk signaling that he's not, definitely not going to rage. I wouldn't expect him to anyway. But uh, this war isn't going to hold for too long. It is basically paper on EP. And uh, at the same time, <laughs> Kaiser's losing a number of villagers up the top here. So he's not even that far ahead of Nico now. Oh, right. Yeah, that's actually something. How many of you have maps? But, uh... Not a single one, actually. It didn't lose a single view. How, uh, how does that happen? Well, it's just, it's just aging, so Turk is uh, making views meanwhile. Ah, yeah, of course. Um, but yeah, there's the Trevor Ward coming out. He puts it down on the opposing si opposing side, and you've got to expect something like eight um, eight forest prowlers to come out here because otherwise Turk's army is, yeah. is really quite scary. Although I don't know why Turk's backing off so much, as he's just going to take down the housing. Well, he's going to siege this house, and regarding his bank, he's also going to age himself behind it. Oh yeah, he is able to age, but. Uh... He's giving Kaiser quite a lot of time to, to get those uh, strong age three shipments in, which is, I, I, I think it's an interesting choice. He, he allows Kaiser to get the corral up, which is obviously what Kaiser wants to do yeah. here, because he either needs Kanyo and needs musket riders, he needs something to take out any uh, cavalry that come out. And there's eight forest palace. And honestly, Kaiser can probably push here. Is he... um, yeah, I mean, you can try to poke with these forest brothers, but... On the other hand, he had no Wahat, he has to use his Hawa to make another one, so he, he wasn't making any H3 units for the time being. So basically, his counter push is going to be quite weak, it's just going to be one unit achievement. Yeah, well, and uh, at the same time, Turk has just got map control. Uh, or maybe he doesn't actually, I'm not entirely sure. Did Kaiser use his other big button? No, he hasn't. Used, neither player has used their big button, their second one. And it would actually make sense for uh, for Turk to get a veteran Tomahawk, which is uh, I'm going to assume he's going to do. But... Uh, uh, yeah, just the 20 of them, so... Yeah, but... Might be worth doing it. But uh, Kaiser's... Uh, he's going to have a number of... Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, musket Riders coming out as well. And obviously, Forest Palace just dominate Tomahawks. So, even though Turk's mass is... It does seem larger... Uh, at the crux of it is that, uh, unfortunately for him, it just isn't. Uh, simply because uh, Forest Powder is so good against the composition he does have. Yeah. Oh, he's going to get a crack shot off, though. Oh, Loses, nice uh, speed from Kaiser, but still going to lose two Forest Powders. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this um, this Warhub is probably going to go down due to the pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, if... Hunter got something on the way, and if he goes 8 for Esperados himself, he might just be fine holding this. Yeah, with the Ionas actually shooting away. I mean, the Ionas aren't even that bad. This one's apparently on 0 HP somehow. But, um, <laughs> that crack shot being quite good. But, uh, yeah, the, the Ionas are now down. The Forest Palace 5 do come out, and uh, we have to assume 8 are in Q. There's 8 Forest Palace yeah. here. But Kaiser is somehow ahead on the military population graph, but half of his units oh, are still in his base, so he has to back off now. Being off with uh, 100 HP, actually, it's quite huge, and yeah, Kaiser is going to get pushed back, and suddenly it's looking very good for Turk. Yeah, exactly. And Kaiser's um, Catrice, his uh, war, uh, war leader, or whatever his, his name is, Explorer, only has um, yeah, only has 52 HP. So he can't really push in too easily because you need the, uh, the aura. And unfortunately for Kaiser, if he's low HP, he's just going to get picked off. And at the same time, Turk has roughly equal forest power numbers to him. A lot more Tomahawks, which aren't too useful. But these um, these musket riders at this point aren't actually that good. They're not really serving any purpose. Yeah, it's, uh, it's true. Hunter got no cow on the field. He doesn't have a stable. So just going to. Uh, make forest followers, I guess, and perhaps upgrading his tomahawks to veteran. It's going infantry combat. It's quite greedy, and uh, yeah, it's definitely going to go for the um, infantry war. Yeah, which is, I, I believe, what uh, uh, what this matchup sort of ends up being because of how strong the uh, the Oka uh, infantry are, oh, especially forest pillars, are just insane. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Kaiser can't take this, there's no way he's, 
another big crack shot off as well. And because it's exploding oh, going down, he definitely Watch can't it. take it. And yeah, I mean, at the same time, if we look at Turek's deck, he has sent infantry combat. He does have uh, five cannon and uh, six cannon left, which are is a, uh, two strong shipments. But uh, yeah, Kaiser, he's just sent uh, military shipments so far in the third age. He doesn't have the TP either, so he's not getting the, mm -hmm. uh, the experience that you'd want really to pump out uh, shipments that uh, ever cross all the specializers in. And because of that, He's uh he's behind, uh yeah, actually no he's ahead on eco he's also ahead on military unit population but at the same time Turks units are probably fifteen twenty percent better because of the infantry combat and forest prowlers are just they scale so well with uh, with upgrades on them. Yep, yeah, that's totally true. And hunter sure going for elite tomahawks. Um. One thing going for Kaiser is uh, his superior economy is ahead by four years, so it's something working on for for him. But he's gonna need to challenge these uh, forest prowlers and tomahawk mass from Hunchuk somehow. And going for the five quiz. Yeah, I'm not entirely you sure of the five quiz is actually the best shipment here because elite tomahawks, especially when they've got the uh, the infantry combat card, on them, yeah. are just insane. Like, oh, uh, insane and yeah, 20 times, uh, 20 3x versus cavalry is it's basically 60, um, 60 a hit. And, mm. uh, Tom Hawks especially does better at blocking the other uh, Chris is. But, uh, I think it's just about skirm count at this point. Uh, and yeah, six can you as well, I think is a mistake from Turk. Although, mm. I'm not entirely sure because obviously six can is good for snaring. I don't know how that goes, to be fair. Kaiser kind of got fire pit ready, and uh, he's got the, um, yeah, he's got the queers, and queers um, should be able to do very good versus this composition, as long as he doesn't overcome it on the Tomahawks. Yeah. <clears throat> he's gonna lose one uh, Musket Fighter here. Yeah, and uh, I think it's all about Micro at this point. I mean, Turk's units are slightly better, but uh, Kaiser has more. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a couple of tomahawks that are going down the right, but uh, this is, as Chris says, are in a really nice spot. They're on the canyon, they're on the, uh, the units they want to be on. Although the tomahawks are coming in, and they're going to sort of probably sweep them down, so they're all basically down. A couple of canyon are left yeah. for Turk, but uh, they're going down themselves. And uh, Turk getting a better better trader, actually, than, than he should have really been able to. Just be careful, because he's snaring with his tomahawks, but they're dying super fast to musket riders and, and forest followers, and... If you know six can you six red can you would come in for for Kaiser that would be something. Just look at the forest pilot count now. Uh, at this point, it's uh, thirty eight to Turk and uh, nineteen to Kaiser, and Turk's ones are stronger. So he's sort of wasting these musket riders. But as you said, if six can you come out, it sort of cleans here. They are they are strong cavalry, and uh, yeah. <clears throat> Turk has and Turk actually zero anti gun. It's gonna take a while before you can get the mass of musket riders and no knowing Kaiser, I know he likes to go for cap switches in this uh, situation. No, it's gonna go infantry combat my bad. Yeah, I think infantry combat might have been a, a bit of a bit of a mistake. It would have been better if it came in beforehand. But uh Turk is just gonna have the higher skirm count, right? Turk is just gonna go full skirm. Um, to be honest, that's quite good. I mean, good that now that the QSC is all. I'm gone. Yeah, and I mean, 40 Spurs Prowlers, even if you send 6 Kanya, they don't even fare too badly against them because of just how much damage they actually do uh, in relation to, to them being skirmishers. But um, uh, saying that, Kaiser does have the slightly better eco, as you said, and those strong yeah. shipments for both players now, actually, are sort of running out. So it's got to the point of a game where it just comes down to who can get the bigger mass of first brothers i think at this point yeah exactly and um, i think turk is in a really good spot right now yeah he's got 20 basically doubled kaiser's first brother mass and more uh, musket riders as well but uh what has kaiser um, got in queue he's catching up in this game counting more it's 42 versus uh, 29. oh it's 20 okay so it's not too it's not too bad and obviously both yeah. of them do have the infantry combat 
And Turk's Eco actually isn't that far behind simply because he's got the trading post, which obviously trickles in um, uh, XP at a, a standard rate. But uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, there's a number of Kanja now. In push again. Yeah, at some point, we're going to see some contentions for the gold mines, basically, because um, this will be out of gold really soon. Hero does chomp for gold as a, as a sieve, but. Um... Oh, how is he making Kanja now, really, like that? Yeah, six Kanyan as well coming in, as, yeah. and if, he, if they can just audience. yeah, these uh, these fellow spellers are better than Turks at this point because of the fire pit. Oh, they're actually both on the fire yeah. pit, both dancing. But uh, really nice positioning from Kaiser. I think Kaiser just uh, has better positioning in this fight, and the musket riders on the musket riders are all infantry a cat coming in from Turk, maybe slightly too late. But uh, if we look at the skirm mass, which is actually what really matters here now, they're roughly equal, but four Kanyas. Uh, just stomping down on those uh, those four spells. Yeah, time. and five more coming in the back of that, and there's no musket riders left for Hunter, only one remaining two, but... Yeah, seven Kanye just claims this. Wow, really good micro from Kaiser this time, uh, being able to get a really nice flank from, with the Kanye on the top, and uh, kind of isolating the musket riders in the bottom. Uh, there's, uh, there's the GG. I think yeah, uh, GG. Turk just needed more, more anti cav really, and he, he sort of wasted half of it with the uh, I don't know with what he, didn't he had, he had um, uh, enough musket riders and a ton of forest riders to just, you know, one shot Kanye and go back and then shoot with guns, etc. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe he was overconfident in his fight or something. Yeah, especially with uh, infantry attack, maybe he was just slightly too overconfident. But uh, yeah, an interesting game as the first one. Kaiser going for a, a weird approach, going for four Kanya and into a Turk's base and Turk staying age two while Kaiser aging. And uh, yeah. by the looks of it, Kaiser was able to stabilize and take a really good fight at the end. That fight shouldn't have gone so well for him, I don't think. Yeah, definitely. So on the fight, we can see that both players have the same military population. Uh, Kaiser got the better position, but Turk got more scams and honestly I believe in this situation if he just kites he would be totally fine. Yeah, exactly. But uh I believe it's New England again. Oh no, it's High Plains. Which is yeah. a uh, two farms. Yeah, and Kaiser's obviously picking a European oh he can pick any sims, he can actually play Oracle again if he wants to. I hope he doesn't, but um uh, and Turk has to counter pick with the TWC sieve. So we might see Kaiser play Germany, as he uh, is yeah. a very strong sieve on this map. Uh, Spain is strong, but I don't know how much Kaiser plays Spain. Ottoman is really strong as well, but obviously Su is an easy counter pick. So you don't want to go Ottoman in this, uh, in this tournament, really. Right. But uh, this map in particular is really nice for, for uh, TWC sieves. Because you have the, the strong treasures, you have uh, the TP line which you can hold quite easily, and mm -hmm. uh, just as a whole, I mean, it, it's just nice for TWC systems. But uh... yeah, yep. and uh, will we see Germany? <laughs> uh, take on this map, to be fair. Yeah, Kaiser's Germany is obviously really strong. We saw Germany versus uh, was it? I think it was Iroquois earlier, and uh, Nushubai ended up winning that. It's Germany, yeah, which surprising. yeah, <laughs> surprising, as you said. Uh, it's a very good first peak on this map, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, you you don't want to go. Um, what says don't you want to go? You don't want to go Aztec at all, because they just get crushed by Germany. It's it's one of the worst matchups. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see what he does. Yeah, um, probably Sue is very good on this map, especially versus Germany. 
this map is so huge you can run around uh resources are exposed at some point so it's very good for sea raids and Heimtruck is going past X actually okay uh i'm confused <laughs> i i talked well, to kaiser well, about I... this because aztec is just weak against germany like oh yeah it's i think it's just a bad matchup for aztecs okay maybe he was just joking i don't, I don't know what siopu si means so maybe it's in turkish <laughs> it's quite late for turkey actually at the moment. it's like half past one because turkey is three hours ahead of me so i'm surprised he's playing so late but um Sue so is an interesting choice. Um, yeah, Sue so is interesting. But we're going to get straight into this. High Plains, Sue so versus Germany. Um, a matchup we've seen quite a lot on this map. And uh, the, I think the crate start matters a decent amount. So if uh, if it's a wood start, Kaiser's uh, happy and is going to the bank. But uh, if, it's a, uh, if it's a coin start, Sue so is happier. Um, <clears throat> so it's going to be wood start, um, Germany going to TP obviously, but Sue has the option to go for a TP himself. Yeah, obviously because Sue uh, doesn't have to build, uh, uh, they don't have to build uh, housing, so um, obviously they can build a TP. Although maybe it's better for Sue to go for two TPs in base instead. Uh, We'll just have to wait and see. But Kaiser's obviously going to go for the TPO. I would expect him to do nothing less. But um, obviously going to look fine on the way there. 70 XP is a really nice treasure, actually, if you can pick that up. Mm. Um, there's so he's going for two CPs in base. Um, that's arguable. You know, this map, you sometimes have treasures like 80 wood or 95 wood. And so you could get yourself, um, you get yourself a training post without having to chop anything. But... Now we're gonna go straight for Kaiser Klein's hero and perhaps gonna no, not gonna harass anymore. He's gonna he got a common hero, which is not the greatest. Um, yeah, he's probably gonna find uh, or pick up this uh, uh, seventy XP, which is nice. It's basically a, a TP pass, uh, especially when you account yeah. uh, when you account for the coyotes dying. Oh, Kaiser might pick it up. Oh no, it's just like too oh, slow. No, 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 no. So your hero is just too far, uh, too fast. And it's Turk, of course, who is, is known for Obviously, being very good. <laughs> uh, he does find 80 wood as well, Turk. Yeah, see what I was meaning. So if he, if he converts that, uh, he could probably make another TP. I mean, Kaiser's around here as well, so you don't, you don't want to... The problem with the, uh, the, the, the Sue, uh, Sue as a whole and the TWC sibs is when you convert, but it's, just, it's just not as good as um, crack shotting in, in terms of speed. So yeah. um, you can't steal a treasure as easily. But... Um, yeah, I mean, there's some, some really good treasures left over here. A 50, foot, uh, 50 wood, which is obviously a nice treasure. Uh, there's also... What else is there? Set the treasure, which Turk has just scouted as well. Like, coyotes are, are really easy to take out for... Um, not particularly for Sue, because obviously it's uh, not a ranged character. But uh, for the European says it's really easy. Um, I like that he's using the common hero to tank. Yeah, because which... Five units are easy to kill, but... They do tons of damage. Uh, so it's just five units uh, shooting at you. It does just it's... lose the coat every uh, yeah. rifleman, but uh, I think that really matters. Yeah, micro dead, but yeah. Uh, what else is there? Two answers are really the really only interesting um, things left. There's a tomahawk, which is probably better for Germany than it is for Sue. There's uh, yeah, there's obviously the small coin treasures, but those don't really matter too much. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we didn't check the maps, we're just going to have a look. Oh, they use have um, a tons of bisons as a second hunt, and they also have deals, so I think we're fine. In terms of gold mines, yeah, players got two in base, third one and fourth, yeah, everything's okay. Ooh, Kaiser could have gone for the steel, but... Ooh. <clears throat> and yeah, Kaiser is, uh, you can just stand there, though. Because uh, the German Explorer obviously does more damage than the Sioux Explorer. The Sioux Explorer being particularly weak when in hand combat, only doing three damage against the, uh, the Germans six. They yeah. can get away very really easily. Able to get that. Um, but Kaiser's just going to wait for the crack shot, isn't he? Uh, like, yeah. 
probably. She will have to make a trading post himself if he decides to go for it. But. I think Sue will go for a trading post as you sort of want to Sue, especially on 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 this map because if you let Germany just take uh, a couple of uh, TPs, it it, uh, oh, it scares them. Would you prefer one on the bottom? Bow, uh, bottom one. Yeah, the bottom one's better. There is a high chance uh, Germany goes for some kind of bow pike, and you know having the, the, the TP really close to your opponent base would probably be window for Germany to siege at some point. Actually, that AT wood for Germany is really nice. He's going to get the uh, the TP down, maybe. Or maybe he's just going to use it to get the upgrades in. Yeah, I think he's just going to use it for upgrades, isn't he? Yeah. And he's going to get... He's a lot of gold. Uh, I think it's just for seal traps. Yeah, he'll get steel traps as he ages. Uh, I think that's what Kaiser's going to do. He might even just nick this uh, this 30 food out of, of, um, of Turk's base, which is nice. Yeah, he's he just got 125, so he's obviously going for steel traps. And uh, did he go for? He didn't go for the wood uh, wood uh, upgrade, so more than likely that means that uh, oh, Turk got it. Sitting the furry food, the furry food. Yeah, massive <laughs> contention. But yeah, as you said, um, he's he's chopping a lot of coin, chopping a lot of coin, mining a lot of coin. But he does get steel traps in, which is actually really nice to get there early. And we just have to look at what Kaiser's deck's like. It's completely standard. There's nothing um, uninteresting about that. Um, Sue's deck... Nice. Yeah, Sue's deck is, is pretty standard as well. Four of Exoid is sort of to be expected in this matchup, I think. He's going to lose his Explorer, Kaiser. But he does scout it, which is nice. And he, uh, I believe he scouted the Creval as it went down. So he knows what to expect. And because of that, he's going to go down with the Barracks. And I expect probably... Dops or Pike or something, I don't know. But, um, it's hard to say to be fair, he didn't chop any wood and he went for three settler wagons. I think for yeah, Dops is yeah. gonna go for um, a bit 320 XP, so it's not gonna be under pressure anytime soon. Yeah, that, that basically representing a shipment. So, those uh, those four axe riders paying themselves off by getting the uh, 320 XP. Uh, there is. He did get the set of treasure. We do miss that, uh, but that is nice for Turk. Kaiser obviously still ahead on Eco because of how uh, how Germany is incredibly strong early game of Eco. And uh, there's seven yeah. to wood. So this is like the most basic German build you could possibly imagine. Units in queue, Dobbs. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And Turk is going for X Riders, so Dobbs are going to be really insane here. He's going to hide them. And now bring them forward. Yep, he's just going to hide them. But uh, I mean, he might lose a single settler, but Kaiser's done really well to uh, to herd in here with all the bison. So those five okay. dops, he can just he's just fine with it. I think he can just age off of this. Six seat and bows, though. Oh, interesting. So right there. Um... Can I him the training post now? I hope he goes for four riders now. Nope, he's got more X riders in queue, but I mean, Yulon Dobbs should be the good counter to Seaton's X riders, so we'll see. Kaiser is gonna, probably gonna hage now. He, yeah, he got five crossbow, I believe. Oh no, he just, he just, uh, he queued them and un uncured them. So, uh, yeah, I think he's gonna age. He's gonna send 700 coin, right? And then, uh, he's. Yeah, when he ages, I mean, these six Satan's are a bit, a bit odd, I think. Because Turk's, like, army presence isn't huge. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of axe riders, obviously, but uh, six Satan's, especially when you're going this far forward. Imagine if Kaiser just had a couple of Ulans walking around. These would be basically be a wasted ship. And, and I think that's just what... What's Turk doing? He's just really... He's bringing his cab now, but... Right. Yeah, those six Setons are just not enough. They're going to get shot down, and then Turk doesn't have anything uh, to, to answer yeah. for the Dops. I mean, I think five Dops de deletes that Axolo army. Um, so... He's more Dops, but he could also cancel and just call Minutemen at some point. Yeah, he might lose a house here, but he doesn't care about that, honestly. And then, what does Turk do when he gets... Uh... Oh, Turk is about to age himself, actually, so it's not all too bad for Turk. 
But this is like Axe Rider Army, which is just Mass Stage 2. Isn't going to be doing too much. Thank you for a AK Attack 123468 for subscribing. Um, but yeah, here's the. Uh, he's going to lose that extra Seton, isn't he? And maybe even one more. Or maybe not. But, but those six Seton seemed a bit pointless. Mm -hmm. Well, he was able to siege two houses, which is something. But now yeah. I really feel like Kaiser is just gonna shoot three war wagons, may make a fear, and just can't push. Yeah, he's he can take down the uh, the TP as well incredibly easily, simply because those dops have a ridiculous um, siege. And um, yeah, there's Turk going to Fortress Age, but uh, he doesn't have a war hut and base. He's uh, chopping for one, I believe. But he's also only had two uh, two TPs on all this time, and Turks had he doesn't even have placer mines either. So his eco is is quite shoddy, really, compared to Kaiser's when he has a uh, wow. still traps right for right now. Yeah, that's an interesting call, especially when you know Germany is going to yeah. go for war wagons against your mass. Yeah, 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 definitely. That's an interesting choice. Uh, let's see what he's going to ship first. Could be five rock riders or. He's taking his extractors, not yet. Okay. Yeah, five rifle riders is he's gonna push, but uh, yeah, those five rifle riders just do really good versus Dobbs and Eurons, but that's it. Yeah, that's a lot of rifle riders, but hey, so he's going one K coin, that's quite pretty. Uh, yeah, one K coin might have been a mistake for Kaiser here. Because imagine if that was war wagons, this push would just be shut down like before it even gets there. War Wagons being ridiculously good versus uh, Rifle Riders. But um, I, I think if Kaiser can micro this well, he holds it. Especially if mm, Turks I'm can... not sure about that, to be fair. Yeah, he maybe not. Oh, yeah, he's got Vet Yulon, but they're all going to die before having the tech. Tops are just pathing around also. It's unfortunate. He's going to tank with Settler Wagons, but he's going to lose at least two. Yeah. Although, at the same time, Turk is just wasting some of his time. With the other uh, units here, the rifle riders just they're not doing anything, they're just sieging. But yeah, uh, it's just gonna be a clean up. I mean, so do, why did he send a thousand coin? It, it doesn't make any sense. He does have enough to ship for for for, for um, like riders or something, but that's just too slow. I mean, well, obviously, to be fair, you don't expect you to go 10 rifle riders first versus Germany, no, uh, yeah. And at the same time, his his eco actually isn't hurt that much, especially if he can get a shipment in. Those uh, black riders are just, oh, well, they just melt for his rifle riders, don't they? So, um, I, I think it just depends on uh, if Kaiser can sort of stabilize it. No Mokinas do come out for uh, for tech, but uh, Kaiser yeah, doesn't, Kaiser can't really collect good. either. Doesn't have a shipment ready because of no TP. So, can I send black riders now? But that's sixty seconds, isn't it, or forty seconds? He has to wait. I mean, no, it's 60, right? Yeah, it's just gonna lose houses meanwhile. And he doesn't have any food, so he has to gather here, and Turk is just gonna push that. Yeah, and these Wakinas that Turk has got, I mean, he doesn't have a uh, doesn't have a war hut up to speak of, but uh, the Wakinas are just gonna demolish the, uh, the Black Riders if he can get in touch with them, and there's nothing in queue which uh, counter, counters mm, I'm the sure Wakinas. is just. Not enough versus H4 Dragoons. Actually, yeah, they have huge amounts of HP, don't they? Black Riders, they have like 900. Uh, you mean Black Riders? Yeah. No, they have like 400. Yeah, for, yeah. 400 or something. And they have like 40% melee resist, I think. Something like this, yeah. Oh, he does lose a Settler yeah, Wagon, man. Yeah, he's not a Wagon, and yeah, I mean, it's just freaking really bad that crazy. And get Black Riders now, but... And, uh, yeah, if he can take down the Zucchinas, there's not going to be any more coming out. But the looks of it, Turk is just going to try and, uh, use his might of the, uh, Axe Riders to, uh, to stop him off. Axe Riders do have a Malice versus... I should, I should uh, just stack the Zucchinas and go back, to be fair. The, uh, the Axe Riders are faster than the... No, the Black Riders are actually still faster, I think, maybe. But, uh... Uh... 25 speed. I think what Kaiser's doing is he's going for Jaegers. 
And uh, yeah, I mean, Turkey's just gonna go for another camp push. If he spots that, so it's just game over. It's like 10 videos here. He's gonna lose a lot himself, but. Yeah, Black Rider's not been the best units already because of their uh, Malice versus Villagers. But, uh, yeah, at the same time. He'll do fine with 40 attack. Oh, he's gonna spot it. Oh my god. That's, that's basically game over at this point. Well, Kaiser's gonna bring back the Black Riders, but. And he's just running away with his skills, so it's gonna be even further for him. And there's the GG. Yeah, GG. I, I just think Kaiser's build of a thousand coin with, into Black Riders doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah. I mean, Turk's push is really random too, but I guess it works. Yeah, Turk's push was a bit odd. Um, and even Kaiser saying it's randomly. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, Kaiser actually just uh, sort of get demolished after a, uh, it's quite a strong early game. <laughs> And, Turk with the BM. Yeah, Turk with BM as well. But uh, we'll, we'll go right into the next game. We don't want yeah, we, we don't want a series to go too long because of uh, the time in uh, Turkey for Turk. I like how someone in chat said, this game is not balanced, that's why everyone plays age two. Which is, um, <laughs> yeah. Smartest, smartest person in the chat. But uh, by the looks of it, Kaiser's going to go for Iroquois. Yeah, are you ready? So Kaiser's going to go for Iroquois now on the high plains and let's see what Turk decides to hump it with. Yeah, Kai, uh, Turk could play Japan. He could play um Actually Turk's simple is quite weak, isn't it? He can um uh, it's simple. I'm not sure about that. He could play Russia, but obviously Russia and Turk is a bit uh Bit interesting. You also play Japan. Yeah, Japan is strong on this map in particular as well. Um, yeah. Assuming you can uh, stop people getting all the trade uh, trading posts. But he's going to with you again. That's interesting. Yeah, this um, this matchup's interesting as a whole. Um, the age one obviously is is in favour to Sue, but uh, it will have a lot of timings that they can push into Sue, and even when that big button comes in at fifteen minutes. It requires units are just so strong that they they sort of destroy so really. But um we just have to wait and see. The again the year of a crate style matters quite a lot on this. Mm -hmm. You need to um, remember to update your score. Uh, I will do, do yes. Mean? It's uh one one all right. Uh yep, one one. But yeah, it looks like it's a uh, it's a food start, which is um mm, yep. Basically, uh, an equal start for both sibs is maybe slightly better for Iroquois. Kaiser actually oh, backcurling his hunt. That's, um, that would be a huge pickup, to be fair. Yeah, a hundred. That it treasure is rate. that treasure is uh, is broken. Um, it needs to be fixed, really. But uh, isn't it a hundred? It has been fixed in the next TP. Yeah, because it's it's just too easy. It's it's two coyotes or one hundred and thirty food, which is yeah. like ridiculous. Um, but uh, Turk does come across some interesting treasures. 80 food, I believe. 80 wood, even he, he saw when he walked past. And I believe that's 50, you know, 70, 70 XP, but it was 50 wood somewhere. But um, yeah, the 130 food treasure, especially on a food stop, maybe Kaiser will even be able to get uh, up on 13 villagers, which is just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it could be something indeed. Oh, I'm kind of going to contest this 70 XP. Yeah, 70 XP actually is quite big now. And I think Kaiser got yeah. that. 
Yeah, he definitely did. And at the same time, Kaiser can just stand here and he'll actually just win the uh, the, the fight between the uh, the outlaw rider and whatever. Mm -hmm. the, the trees are falling down because of the Sioux um, area <laughs> attack. So much power. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, Turk can't stay here. There is 80, 80 wood, which is the, the other premium treasure on the map. There's 80 food as well down the bottom, which Kaiser, I believe, probably has scouted. No, he hasn't. But, um... Oh, yeah, that's true. His new setter spawned this time. Um, so Turk went once again to convert one of these Claudians from the 20 XP. But uh, it's close to hero base, and I'm pretty sure Kaiser scouted that. So. Yeah. Well, um, Kaiser's going up with 13 villagers, and it was basically idleless. So that 130 food treasure has just uh, propelled him to have uh, basically an insane age one. But uh, Turk does pick up 80 wood, which was basically stolen from Kaiser, which Turk does well. He does that a lot. Yeah. But um, Kaiser's going to get the trading post up relatively early. And um, Turk is, is quite far behind Kaiser, actually. And Kaiser's going with Wise Woman, which is the exact same build as he did versus... Oh, no. Yeah, first it's the same build he did in the first game. 13 villager age up. But, um, yeah, I mean, he's got to go for the trading post, as I said. Yeah, more than I think he would be really happy to be sure that she doesn't have, you know, like two renegados or something and just hunt your explorer down. I think he knows that uh, because uh, how Turk was converting the bear and how he lost the uh, the Comanche he probably doesn't have one or the Outlaw Rider or whatever they're called. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I mean, at this point, the matchup is relatively interesting because obviously Kaiser is, is slow edging as well as uh, as uh, Turk is. Turk's going up the chief, but um, Turk's also chopping a lot of wood. Which indicates to me that he's either going to go for a... Um, uh, actually, I don't know what he's going to do and if he's chopping so much wood. He's going to go for a market, but he's still chopping a lot of wood. So he's probably going to go for hunting dogs. He's going to go for place of mines, more likely. But uh, is it worthwhile for, for him to continue chopping and then getting the team, uh, training post up? Hmm, it's um, curious to see him, but we'll see. Um, Hero is going for... Some kind of a forward warhard, not that forward actually. Yeah, it actually isn't too forward. And uh, Kaiser's deck, uh, pretty standard. Dirk's deck is also really standard. Um, yeah, I don't think he's going to push forward here. Uh, or maybe he will do. We just have to wait to see what he ships. It's all about what he ships, basically. So if he ships um, for Kanya, which he can do. Uh, and by the looks of it, he actually. Ha he ever has done, yeah, four cannons just been shipped. And if we look at units in Q... Uh, <clears throat> they're going to get spotted by uh, Iron Turk. Yeah, but which is... He's just starting to be at his warhead, and that's actually really scary. Yeah, Warhead. Now Turk is going for Axe Riders first, because otherwise he's going to be in real trouble here. Yeah, Warhead's take a long time to actually build up, and he's going to lose a villager by the looks of it. Yeah, lose yeah. a single villager. Um... He does have a, a decent amount of damage coming from that TC. He might even lose a second one. No, he's, he's fine now. But uh, oh, there's a couple of troubles. Yeah. That Warhut's probably... Awesome. Yeah, he might lose the Warhut, which is uh, probably the worst thing that will happen to him. Five, four Axe Riders do, do catch the... Uh, do catch a Kanya. But, um, yeah, I mean, Turk Turk can't fight this surely with the Tomahawks. Uh, he probably can't. And, yeah, the Warhut is going to go down, and... And yeah, because Ooh, you can try to fight that, but that's Tomahawks in mini menu. Have to be really careful about that. It's going yeah. to five them, but I yeah, think even this is just a really nice trade for Kaiser overall. Yeah, it is. But with more Tomahawks coming in, especially, it's going to be a nice trade. I mean, Turks lost a lot of uh, of time here, not being able to do anything. He he does have villagers in queue, thankfully for him, but 100 XP as well is is pretty big. Um, Turk might lose a couple of more villagers here, or maybe not. No, he won't lose that being idle all the time. And for that four-back side of being sort of useless, it did, it did take out the canyons.
but uh, at the same time, Kaiser's not being stupid. He's not going all in. He, he, uh, no, and he, he got himself 320 XP, so now he's just having shipments, yeah. basically. And now he's... Siege to TP also? Yeah, he's got a Siege to TP. Uh, he, does, uh, he does send uh, 600 wood, which he's collecting up, and he's gonna, probably going to get a second TP, as you said. Yeah, there's the foundation going down for one. Turk's going to lose his, and Turk is ahead on Eco. He's also now even building a fire pit, which I assume he's going to do to uh, to get his explorer back up quicker. But um, mm. yeah, there's there's not really much happening here. I mean, there is obviously stuff happening. Turk's had GG already, and Turk was yeah, I mean, it's pretty much over to be fair. Yeah, and uh, a, very, a very quick game, seven minutes. Yeah, yes. <laughs> And uh, Kaiser maybe not thinking it was uh, game over, but you can see, I mean, uh, Turk did kill more units of Kaisers, but uh, Turk didn't really have a follow-up there, especially after he was losing the war HUD. <laughs> I don't know what Kaiser's saying, it was cute, Siv, but... Um... I'm not sure why, I think it's just a misplay from Iron Turk, yeah, not building his war HUD in time. Exactly, yeah. But uh, we're back out of that. There's not really much you can say about that game other than um, yeah. in Kaiser 1. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, the next map is Arkansas, which is uh, probably better for Turk. Turk can play Japan. Actually, no. no T Turk is picking the TWC stuff, isn't he? So, Kaiser is uh, is first to pick the Euro mm -hmm. So, Kaiser, I think, can play Germany again, can't he? Um, yeah, you can. You can play all the sieves uh, as many times as you want. So yeah, I mean, Kaiser's to pick. You can pick a Euro sieve. You can pick a, a Tad sieve. I, I highly doubt it. Pick a Tad, tad sieve. It is Kaiser, but um, there's Germany again. So Germany being probably the strongest uh, sieve on on TP maps, and Kaiser being one of the strongest, if not the strongest player with Germany. Yep, definitely. I mean, if you have to get a first pick and you know your opponent is gonna, um, he's gonna counter pick you with either Euro Sue or Aztecs, I'll probably go Germany too, just because it's they have decent matchup versus all the the watch sieves. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I get you. You don't want to go Aztec, so um, yeah. I, I don't know what Turk could do here. It was obviously oh I don't know he did win didn't he with uh, with Sue? I've just I've completely forgotten. It was only uh, sort of ten minutes ago. He he won with Sue earlier, so maybe he had to stick with Sue. <laughs> oh, yeah, people were wondering on the chat if Kaiser aged fast, but no, just did a three minute forty eight HQ with a slow age. <laughs> But yeah, 130 food uh, treasure is very good for it. Oh yeah, yeah 130 food is ridiculous. Um, but uh, I mean, it's a bit like Russia getting it, isn't it? Where they can just do a completely idleless 14 age up, it's just insane. But mm, um, yeah, thankfully that treasure is getting uh, getting nerfed, I believe. So yeah. uh, just took to pick. Obviously, took. He can he can play deep any of the TW systems he wants. Uh, by the looks of it, Turk doesn't play much Iroquois, and he only had one deck earlier, so I I doubt he's going to play it. Uh, so it, I think it's probably going to be Sue, which is a, a strong pick against Germany. We saw it winning earlier, but uh, maybe not the uh, the favoured in, one in the matchup. Hmm. I'd rather be Germany on this map, to be fair, because you have two good mind base, you have a lot of pumps, your TP should be quite safe. So it's a bit better for the defensive save, I think. Yeah, exactly. And um, just Germany as a whole is, is very, very strong for TP maps. But uh, yeah, Turk to pick, so we we'll just have to wait for what, he's, what he does. He 
probably be playing Aztec. I think he's joking again. But uh, we're going in to see what he does. Does he even have a deck for Aztec? He has one. Of which I believe he just made. So... Apparently we're going to go green in with uh, Aztec versus Germany, which is uh, an interesting matchup. We we saw it uh, last time. Oh no, we didn't. We saw France versus Aztec with Lucas as his Kaiser in the Grand Tour. So I can't remember the last time I actually saw this matchup, but it's it's not played very often for obvious reasons. But uh, yeah, I don't know why you'd pick Aztec into Germany. Yeah, and then we what he's going to do, to be fair. It is a coin start, which is, uh, which is okay. Uh, Kaiser is picking up 50 coin of base, and he also has 40 coin over to the left, so if he picks that up, it's just basically three hunting dogs, which, uh, by the looks of it, is what he's going to do. He's going to chop uh, for a market, mm -hmm. uh, not a market, chop for the hunting dogs, and uh, buy the uh, coin for a market. Yeah, but uh, just check the lap and uh, <clears throat> looks pretty balanced to me. Three, uh, I mean, the starting plus three hands for both players and two ball mine base. Yeah, the uh, the second coin mine being quite far away for both players, but that's that's fine. Um, a bit of a contention around 60, 60 wood, which is uh, yeah. obviously good for both players. Uh, but uh, by the looks of it, Kaiser isn't too bothered. Or is Turk? Is Turk's what are you right? just uh, taking HP out out of the Aztec hero, which is pretty good for Germany. Yeah, exactly as you said. But uh, there's a set of treasure as well, which is uh, one of the premium treasures on the map. I think there's probably a CDB treasure as well, which normally spawns. Yeah, there's one at the top. Right at the top, yeah, which is a really good treasure if you can get it. Kaiser, by the looks of it, is going for some black bears. It says there's some lag. Uh, I don't see any. But uh, if there is some, we can get that sorted out. He's, he's yeah. failing a little bit here with his, with his running away. If it's still lagging, I'll just leave the game, but I'm pretty sure it's not me lagging. Yeah, I, I don't think it's you. I, I've never cast a game in which you lagged, so. Um, yeah, Kaiser's going to pick up his Settler, albeit for a bit of his, uh, bit of his Explorer's HP. And uh, Turk is going to find the, uh, the CDB himself. Yeah, there's the settler. If he picks it up, there you go. Yeah, so settler for Kaiser, and uh, maybe how much Turk is going to do for the CDB? Um, perhaps later on, actually. Yeah, exactly, and. Uh, yeah, Kaiser's just going to give a really good age one here, isn't he, as a whole? I mean, Turk uh, Turk hasn't got a single treasure yet as Aztec, which isn't what you uh, normally see. Yeah, geez, it's really odd that he hasn't got any treasures. He, he does come across two stray sheep, which is a pretty, pretty useless treasure as a whole. And there is a native scout treasure, which is nice against Aztec in particular because you can scout that base, which mm -hmm. is more than likely what we're going to do. But uh, mm. yeah, I mean, Kaiser's just having the better age one here, even with the uh, the, the start he got, uh, the, the coin start. And yeah, I don't know what Turk's really doing. He's sort of pondering around. He could just take that CDB treasure quite easily, I think. And now Kaiser's around in the Wait, same area. Another convert or something. Yeah, but now he's given time for Kaiser to get up there, and he now Kaiser obviously has yeah. a crack shot. So um, I'm sure Kaiser knows. Ooh, that was close. I'm sure if Kaiser looks at all treasure found from Iron Turk, he would see none, which means that he's probably working on something big since the beginning of this one. Yeah. And uh, Kaiser's deck is actually pretty standard. He has got Team Cavalry Attack in there, which you, you wouldn't normally have in a German deck, because it doesn't give you two rulers like every other ship in Team Colonial Cavalry Age. Attack, oh yeah. But uh, if you get into the late game, Team Cavalry Attack is, is pretty good. But uh, Turks yeah, deck... It works is, on the four wagons too. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it works on all cavalry, uh, so it works on um, it works on uh, Black Riders. 
Oh, um, yeah, true. I uh, usually send that when I go for mercenaries and I get uh, back riders in Salim. Yeah. And yeah, CDB for Turk. Yeah, CDB for Turk, which is which is good, obviously, but uh, at the same time, Kaiser did get a villager, so he had a uh, is it nineteen? Yeah, he had a, he had a uh, pretty strong age up for himself. But Kaiser's going to get the TP down the bottom, and by the looks of it, Turk just sending seven hundred wood. If I just uh, change that, there you go, seven hundred wood. And uh, Turk has to be aggressive here. He, he is building a team, uh, a uh, a war hut, and Kaiser's going to spot it. But it's that it's like mid map. It's not even that aggressive. Yeah. <clears throat> Overall, I just dislike this matchup as Aztecs. Yeah, the uh, Aztecs sort of struggle a lot versus uh, cavalry based civs, right? So, generally, probably not the best civ to go into for Aztecs. Like, Sue versus Aztec is the, uh, I think, the worst matchup in the game because it's just so one sided. But. Uh, Sue versus Aztecs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Um... All right, I'm just going off what Perez said to me. I'm just going off what Perez said to me the other day. So, I'll, <laughs> because he's basically the only player who actually plays the uh, plays Aztec a lot. But uh, Aztec's going for a trading post, which is somewhat unorthodox. And a couple of Pumas do come out, but uh, at the same time, Kaiser's just. I think he's just going to sit in base, have a couple of Ulans come out, and just use them to harass the, uh, the Aztec girls. Hmm. She's not using his Ulans just yet, but I think as soon as you see the, the Puma seizing the TP, you either try to catch that reinforcements, and that's what Kaiser is going to do, or you just go for the raid. And there you go. Yeah, he's going to catch. Uh, I think yeah. the Pumas are going to get back wow. in time. Yeah, they got back yeah, in time. Yeah, they're not going to get too much value. But... And Kaiser's going to use this, uh, this time to get 60 wood, but. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what he's doing. Yep. He's going to lose that explorer, and uh, Turk's just going to take that for himself. So, maybe that's yeah, a bit I mean, of a mistake. He's going to go back to the TP, but he's going to get idled a lot by his Ulans. Uh, Unless he's got high Pumas or something on the way. Yeah. Kaiser got a single uh, Ulan out as a batch, which is. Uh, it's okay, the Wire Priest, and that's actually super big. Yeah, that's basically two settlers on that. Um, oh. Oh, a couple of people. As a result, might even lose a third. Yeah, yeah, he loses yeah. a third. Yeah, that that wasn't worth it at all for Kaiser to, to take one of those out. But um... <laughs> so basically, Pumas are doing twelve times five, so sixty damage to Cav. So they kill you longer in three shots. <laughs> Actually, yeah, the yeah, if they had one hundred ninety, they would have been an extra hit. So the uh, the EPU lands, which are just paper. Uh, so, so Oh yeah, he picks up that, but uh, Bubba looks pretty doesn't. I have forgotten about that. But yeah, uh, Turk, not sure if he decides to push or not. Should probably be waiting for something else, because I mean, you just TC fire the pikes and call me men, and then you just clean up with your lands here. Yeah, men, men just demolish uh, pikes. But uh, at the same time, there's, there's a lot of Ulans for Kaiser. There's... Uh, yeah. And a couple more in queue, and some crossbows in queue, so it's 11 Ulans. Kaiser has it having the bigger military population because Ulans do, do cost two population. Turk shipping 600 wood forward, which isn't the best, but he, he does pick it up. And, oh, well, Turkey is taking the TP now, I didn't realise that. So uh, he's going to have a better eco uh, as the game progresses. Mm -hmm. So Kaiser sort of has to make something happen, and he's only got, he only got a batch of two crossbow out. So, oh, yeah, sounds very good. <clears throat> you might have eight bows on the way, though. Yeah, if he's, yeah, and then he can push with eight bows. And there's no coyotes on the field. And Mace yeah, Holton, and that's exactly what Turk needs right now. Yeah, five villagers. He, he needs coyotes instead of those. And um, this is going to be a push. There's a couple it's of really doppel soldiers even in queue. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Turkey is going really greedy. 600 wood converted into 3 TPs, and then 5 villages to follow that. And I mean, I think uh, a quick timing from Germany could, uh, should be able to clean these war hearts. Yeah, exactly. And honestly, I, I think Germany is just aging instead. So. Oh yeah, that's also fine. 
uh, yeah, and I mean, Hashtag just was just really greedy in turn now, so he's yeah. gonna have. I mean, basically, it's ten maces and fifteen pikes pushed. It's just not scary at all. Yeah, especially when you pop Minutemen and Minutemen do two x damage versus uh, Puma Spearman, and uh, yeah. so, you're gonna kill houses really fast. So it has to be careful here. Yeah, but uh, at the same time, he can't. I I don't know how many. Uh, I'll here for sure. Yeah, the, the Pumas. Obviously, they do a lot of siege, but uh, they're not worth sacrificing just for, just for a couple of houses. Six Pumas. Uh, Six Pumas. Twenty-five punks. That's actually a lot. It is, I but mean, if you get skirmishes out and you get the minute men just called, they just get melted. Yeah. So even more pikes. Thirty pikes. Look at that. And <laughs> one Ulan doing a, a decent amount of damage to his villagers. Has he lost any? Yeah. Can I kill one probably? Um, oh, he didn't even lose out. one. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, this push isn't even that that hard. Maybe he just right clicks the TC. <laughs> nah, no way. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but strong combo. I really feel he needs coyotes right now. Or well, even just more mace would have been better than just making more more of that. But more puma spearmen. Puma spearmen are obviously very good, but they are quite costly. And um, yeah, when Germany gets to age three, they're not really that useful. Because war wagons just dominate their system, don't they? So. Yeah, and I mean, just eight skirms will shut down this bush from Hastex, so. Yeah, more Mace Alton coming out now, and uh, Aztec gonna collect 90 coin. But uh, yeah, war wagons and skirm in queue, and at the end of the day, Turk doesn't really have. He has he had a timing, but. He's gonna try to age. Well, I, I, why would he try and age? There's not really point. There's no real point of a magic, is there? Because uh, uh, he's just floating a lot of resources. That's why. I think he's just waiting to get a uh, another war up so he can actually spend them more than anything. Mm. But uh, he is working with that cheap TP line at the bottom, which uh, we we shouldn't forget. He's going to lose one by the looks of it, and as eight skirmishes, um, yeah. which sort of dominate here. Yeah. And Turk's going to push. Go for a cover push, but. Just leave your skirms in base and you hold that, no problem. And yeah, Kaiser's not doing that. But um, by the looks of it, a couple of the skirms probably going to come out again, batch of five, if, if Kaiser can macro correctly. Um, but there, there's no coyotes here, and that's what he really needs. And Kaiser needs to move his units, obviously, but these, uh, these skirmishes just do so well against all, all what he yeah. has. It's also but, got remaining H2 crossbows. Yeah. And Mace Holton actually, in in particular, oh, aren't very good at all. Yeah, with a minute, man. Yeah, um, yeah. Mace Holton aren't very good against skirmishes, are they? Because of their range. So they're just getting pushed off when they shouldn't really be. If his push doesn't do anything, and Kaiser's now in the age where Germany can just send ridiculous shipments. So yeah, this isn't this isn't looking the best for Turk. He's just losing more and more Mace Holtons. They are cheap. Yeah. But uh, yeah, not the best thing to lose. And he also doesn't have the economy back behind this. He does have um, one more TP when that goes up and when Kaiser. But he doesn't have any villagers or already uh, anything at all on the fire pit. Yeah, uh, I mean it's looking really tough for Turk. I mean his army is so weak compared to Germany army. Superior skirms. Uh, veteran Eulons, what wagons also? Yeah, and uh, he, Kaiser still has like nine Eulons to send. He still has three war wagons to send. Still has uh, seven scums, even for Germany is a really strong shipment because you have the couple of Eulons with it. But um, yeah, yeah, this uh... Kaiser is just playing this really safely, waiting for three war wagons. But now I mean, just can just right click. Turk is finally mixing some uh, some coyotes, yeah, but it's aging. just too late. He is aging as well. Yeah, I didn't see that. But uh, of course, uh, exposed to. Oh, that's a that's a good pop on those coyotes, though. Yeah. Oh, he pulls the bat though because yeah, of the. Aged <laughs> <laughs> <Agent> feature. <laughs> that fucking minute men uh, running back. But uh, yeah, I mean, he he is mixing in better units now, and if he can try and get some uh, eagle runners out, he, he'd be in a nice position in the, the next age. Yeah, but, uh, but he's just going to lose his forward base right yeah, now. Exactly, yeah. He's going to lose the forward base, he's going to lose the advantage he did have, and um, honestly, Turk is uh, he's sort of 
He can't really do much here, can he? And one thing to note is Germany's military unit population is so much higher, even when their units are, on on in general, just more costly and uh, better for their population. Like veteran yeah. Ulans versus uh, coyotes is just insane. Yeah. I mean, Chuck just has to go back now. He can't just try to scare more of his superior units like that. It's just losing all his maces and Kaiser is also signing a lot of fights and stuff. He's going to try to go in now, but... The Kaiser's are in a good position, though. Um, and with yeah, those Pumas in there, it's... it's, but, it's yeah. yeah, with the Pumas, it's quite actually quite hard for Germany to actually um, sort of I take mean, the fight. I'm sure but... Kaiser can just move at this point. Yeah, I think uh, Kaiser is just doing that now. And uh, there's yeah, there's Turk's good. armies cleaned up. He does get to the next age, so that's... Uh... Yeah, but there's no way he catches up with German Nass right now. Yeah, and the two Noble Hearts do go back down in base. But also, as you... Oh, that the worst time possible. Yeah. Ah, uh, there we go. The game is over. It's, it's now time when Turk just uh, run around. <laughs> He might get a couple of uh, villagers here, though, but coyotes are yeah. obviously worse than uh, their normal units at uh, at uh, yeah. raiding. So, um, yeah, I, I don't see this being too well for Kirk. I mean, it's 76 unit population to f two at uh, five. Five, yeah. So. <clears throat> and even then, Turk doesn't have a huge amount of hunts himself, so he only has the stuff on the top. And if this gets raided, I mean, that noble hut, noble hut isn't going to last mm. too long, is it? Yeah, I don't think so. And I think Kaiser could probably just right click at this point, couldn't he? To uh, to take space. Um, yeah, probably. Temple of T oh, that's the uh, what's that? Nice mercenary shipments. And it gives them more range, right? Yeah. Gives them four more range. Yeah. So they have sixteen range. So oh. really powerful yeah, units. Those ones, yeah. The GG shipment. Yeah, the, the 13 Jaegers, which just dominates anything he has. <laughs> I think Jaegers actually just beat Coyotes. I think when... Hastings just can't deal with Jaegers at all. Yeah. And then here's the push in there. There's that Noble Salt, which does do quite a lot of damage, but um, fortunately yeah. for him, there are a lot it's of insane units. versus Cavalry. Yeah, it, is, it does what? Basically 60 damage a shot. Oh no, not even more than that. Like, 70 as his cavalry, but uh, unfortunately, the, the mass he has, which is just huge. Also, Kaiser spots us down the bottom, so. Yeah. Oh, wow. Chick is gonna confederate. But... It doesn't even matter now. Kaiser could lose all his economy and still be fine. Or most of it, at least. I'm sure if Kaiser in the East, yeah, the US, actually. Oh, that's a ton of wheels, actually. Let's be careful here. Yeah, he's going to lose quite a lot of them. And these eager runners aren't too bad to get, uh, take him down anyway because of their, their fire rate. But at the same time, how does Turk kill his army? Like, Jaegers, War Wagons, uh, countless Ulans, and he's going to be taking... He can't, but... And these villagers on the left here are probably going to die as well. Yeah. And... And also these ones. Yeah, this is... Uh... Obviously, that red is pretty big, but uh, does it really matter at the end of the day? I, 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 I'm not entirely sure. Wow. Ulan's red is it's ridiculous. And uh, I think what Turk's doing at the moment is, is what he likes doing best, and just... Uh... Oh, a couple of coyotes do oh, come out, but good. those war wagons uh, means they can't really do much. <laughs> 126 unit population for, uh, for Germany. <laughs> And those, uh, those war wagons do have cavalry combat on them, so they are just in incredible. Yeah. But I, I think at this point the game is, is basically over, and Turk is just... Uh, uh, oh, there's three Jackie of Pearl, like, so they're going to really do really well. Oh, TC um, going down. Yeah. And there's going to be a number of villagers dying. Both players losing a lot more. Somehow we could, you know, pop big buttons and stuff with his main army. But... Yeah, I, I didn't even know about that. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Turk... Uh, 
I don't know. I still don't, I'm still have no clue why Turk um, picked Aztec into that. It didn't really make any sense. But uh, <laughs> there you go. Three one in for uh, for Kaiser. Um, we're going to go to it's the same map again, but uh, Turk is playing a European. Oh, uh, any seven he wants, he can play now. Yeah, so the score is currently 3-1 for Kaiser, so this is going to be a match point. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Kaiser does get to pick a TWC7 to Turk, and I would not be surprised at all if Kaiser if Turk picked um, Japan at this point. Mm. Um, because obviously Kaiser doesn't like the Civ. He, he said that he's pretty vocal about that. But... Um, Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Is Turk picking first? Uh, yeah. Indeed. So we'll see, uh, Turk can pick whatever he wants. Japan, surprising. Yeah, Japan not surprising at all um <laughs> because uh hero surprising me also <laughs> yeah so this is um a matchup we've seen quite a lot i think we saw the yeah i think we saw the exact same matchup between the two players on florida in the epl and turk won so i oh, know it was sompu versus turk okay but turk won that yeah. matchup but um it should be relatively easy, uh, interesting. I think what Iroquois does here is they go for a colonial timing. Uh, I guess it depends on your trade start. Here it's gold, so you don't have a TPH1. But obviously you can still uh, H slow and try to do some forward uh, war hearts and aggression. Yeah, but... Um... Yeah, I mean, the treasures as well is, is quite interesting to look at here because there is a Tomahawk treasure, which is strong for both sips, especially for for, uh, for Kaiser, if he can try and get one of the Japanese monks down. Uh, he's going to pick up 90 food both for himself, which is nice if Turk doesn't go and pick it up. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, this slightly out of line of sight from his TC. Yeah, that villager treasure being, being really strong. Has the, uh, has the CDB treasure spawned? No, it's a medicine man in instead, which is basically useless. Um, yeah, unless you want to heal your hero somehow. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess that's the only thing you can really do use it for. I, I know Gibson wants to take the uh, medicine man and the, um, the surgeon treasure, but uh, unfortunately he's not playing. But um, yeah, Kaiser's probably going to crack shot this uh, Tomahawk. Uh, unfortunately oh, he doesn't. Almost. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Kaiser's going to pick up probably 80 food here as well. And he might even be able to get the 13 village up again. So that would be the third time in the series he's got, got that. I don't know why he's not kiting, though. He should be kiting this. Or maybe he doesn't care too much about the HP. He's of Turk's mechanics and his ability to send the treasures map. Uh, yeah, Turk's going to get 70 food himself, actually, though. So it's not too bad for Turk. Um, what else have we got? That set, though, as you said, is, is really premium. Uh, he wants to try and find that as soon as he can do. He does have a, ki a wolf, or not a coyote, which he can use to, to search around. But, uh, yeah, I think Kaiser's definitely going to go for 13. Because he has 13 in Q, which means he's got one in Q, and he's got three uh, shipped. And 
when that pops. Yeah, he's basically have a 39 plus age up again, which is just insane. Okay, that's going to be very good. Yeah, two, literally. Okay, now at 2.15. It's going to take 90 seconds, so probably 3.45 or something, age up. And with a wise woman as well, and a Trevor. So this is just ridiculous. And, uh, Pretty good, yeah. He's going to get 40 XP as well now, so... In regards to the XP curve, he's going to be better than he normally would be uh, without trading post. So he's going to probably going to go down and get trading post. I, I, I doubt he's going to do anything other than that. Um, he is also going to spot that Sattler treasure. Did he? Nope. Just barely out of line of sight. But uh, at the same time, Turk, by the looks of it, it didn't go for anything fancy like a, uh, a consulate. Um, what ship did he go for, actually? That's, that's like, which is important two for Japan. Two, I still think 300 wood is better than two bills, but uh, it's up to him. One thing about two, two bills as well is you can see the opponent sent two bills. And he's also going up to Shogu, which is to be expected. But uh, by the looks of it, t Japan might go for something a bit aggressive. Uh, well, he sort of has to, actually, against Toko, so... It's uh, sort of to be expected. Yeah, and um, I think to mention is Kaiser is aging, finishing his TP, and gonna get the pass, so he will have a shipment ready. Despite aging at 340. Yeah, and that's gonna be a, a, probably a quick Kenya shipment. Um, Maybe. Um, oh, it does get spotted by the Trevor one. The, uh, the Japanese explorer does not um, snare, though, which is something very important to, uh, to note about yeah. this. Any divine strike back actually, because that would yeah. be broken. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty stupid to be fair. You can, well, you can just divine strike any unit, right? There's, uh, uh, there's not a limitation. I don't know about it. things like Hawaii and stuff, I'm not sure. But maybe, yeah. But uh, Kaiser's going to go for a market, so he's obviously not going to go all in here. He did get the coin, st uh, coin crate from the start and the coin crate from the. Uh, from the wise woman age up. We'll just have to wait and see what Kaiser sends for his first shipment. The text being researched as well. Turk's going with the Japanese oh, consulate. The button here, I think. Yeah, and Turk going for a barracks and base, and he's even piling on the villagers to get it up. See, so he, he's worried yeah, about the, um, the pressure here. There's, uh, there's a couple of canyons coming out. That barracks is almost certainly going to go up. There's the, uh, the big button from, from Kaiser, I believe. What did Turk ship? 600 wood, okay. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure about 600 wood here. Um, is there, he's going to be bunged up really by the... Um... Oh no, he didn't send 600 wood, did he? Um, well, I think he had that on the way, I think. Yeah, I can see on the on his deck. Oh yeah, there you go, 600 wood. For some reason, mine doesn't update. I don't know why. But... Mm. Um, uh, yeah, there's the market going down. The, the couple of, of conscious he's got there, or Yamabushis, are, are going to defend quite easily against the, uh, against the Kanya pressure. But uh, at the same time, his, his explorer is coming forward, and if he gets a crack shot off on them, it's going to be so much damage. Yeah, oh, getting a batch of only two Yumis, not the greatest. Yeah, two Yumis is a bit depressing there. Uh, saying that these uh, these conscious are doing are doing their job and just defending quite easily. Yeah. And uh, there's a couple of Aenas now, even in Kupikosa. So um, we'll just have to wait and see what his next shipment is. Probably five villagers, which uh, as it came. So he he isn't going on in at all. He's he's even getting placer mines now. So that's if he's getting placer mines, that signals to me that he's going to age up. Because um, obviously, as they require, there's nothing in age two which costs any gold, from what I recall, apart yeah, from. Yeah, uh, could be something. Uh, if you clicked on Turk's deck, you could see 600 wood for Vios, so quite greedy. So you could either way uh, send military shipments and push, or just a job. Well, the positioning here oh, from Turk isn't yeah. great. And those conchers don't fare too well against the Ainas. Saying that we have a Yumi do, uh, but they are quite low HP, half of them. That Divine Strike killing one of the, uh, the Aenas. A couple of Aenas means that Turk has to push back here, and he can't, he can't really do anything there. But, um, yeah, Kaiser's in quite a nice position here, especially when he gets uh, the age up in queue. 
he should be uh, should be ready to go. But um, even He's though still Turk's, a way to go. yeah, even though Turk's got quite a, um, a, a sort of he- eco heavy build. Sort of greedy build. He has only AC um, shrine population, so he's he's not too far ahead on eco actually. There's only two clubs remaining, so so just be careful here. Although there is enough um, enough Yumi where they sort of dominate, and he does have the uh, the possibility of sending the uh, Minutemen. Minute uh, you just TC fire and he brings the limiters, I guess. Yeah. But again, I mean, does Kaiser really mind about those uh, those couple of counters going down? They, they weren't really doing much anyway. I think he's just checking what Turk is doing, to be fair. Um, he's not going Rick B, and Kaiser's going to hedge now. Yeah, Kaiser Ojik, as you said. He, he does have a messenger politician as well. There's yeah, a yeah. Damio, which is a, I think, quite an interesting shipment here. Is she on the ball? Yeah. But uh, Maybe he does get. Best, but... He doesn't have anything in queue, and he has Yumi's in queue. There's the uh, the military rickshaw, which is from the. Um... Oh, it's make yeah, so that's. He, doesn't, he didn't ship the Daniel to make cab. Uh, yeah, I don't so think he. More for ten units, but. Yeah, maybe he would have preferred something like like ashes or even six hundred coin, because obviously six hundred coin lets you lets you build more of a more cavalry quicker but mm -hmm. um yeah once he once kaiser's up i mean yumi's are really good obviously but how good are they against uh forest palace i don't I think they're too great are they no uh, the forest palace dominates just because they have more range i think it's like skirms do fine versus yumi's as long as you can kite because they have more range so Well, Jack is going to push, but nah, maybe not. He's got like 15 Yumi's. He's way ahead in, in Eco, though. Keep shining the, the top. Get yeah. The job with that. And he's even getting Imperial Bureaucracy now, so. He, uh, he, he is he's quite far ahead. But again, these cherry orchards, they don't have too much left in them. Uh, oh, there are cherries left, uh, bear bushes. But uh, at some point, yeah. Turk's going to have to send those, and I don't think he can age very easily. So if he lets uh, Iro Mass in age three, I, I don't think Turk's going to be doing too well, honestly. And there's eight forest prowlers, and this is it's quite a strong push. Yeah, 15 uh, forest prowlers. Although he doesn't have any, any anti cap just yet. But at the same time, there's... going to poke and try to see what's going on. There is no cap from, uh, from Turk either, so... Why do you start spending his coin on oh, actually nothing so far? I think uh, he might just be mining to age. Okay. But uh, there's a couple of musket riders coming in from some from the stable. He's now finally putting some uh, some units in queue. I assume he's going to get ten. Uh, what are they called? Ten. Bagging out as yeah. But. Uh, yeah, Turk's quite Turk's really quite pressured here. And even then he's not actually that far ahead on Eco. And um he can't age. He, he's stacking a thousand coin as well, which isn't which isn't good ever. But um Yeah. So he's ahead in Eco, but his lead is basically in his TC right now. So not really not really using that. Also he lost like two bills to the forest problems poking. Yeah. And these horse ballers are just trading so much better than the UB here. Yeah. At least they've got another vill as well, and... The TC fire, he does have 10 vills in there, which is just the amount you want. But Kaiser's getting away with his, his uh, heavy ship, his better ship, is basically 1,200 resource crates. is actually just pretty insane yeah. as a ship, really. But, um... I mean, Turk is going to age now. Yeah. Turk is age, but again, a Japanese age, when they get up, the shipments are quite strong in the next stage. He does have um, eight Ashigos and he does have nine Yumis. But uh, is that really that good against Zirko? Zirko just having better units. And he's still only... Yeah, he's... I mean, so far Turk is just using his, using his TC Fire to compete with the Forest Brothers. Yeah, and he's, he still only has seven... Um, what are they called? Seven... 
uh, shines up. So he, he he doesn't have a huge eco himself, which you'd expect Japan to have a uh, an economy which outscales her quite by this point. Yeah, and it's already the case because he went to Vios and Japanese consulate, so he didn't really shine and doesn't have Kami either. And yeah, as you said, most of his villages have just been sort of bunged up. They're not really doing much. And uh, because of that, Kaiser's not even that far behind. And these first powders just do so well against the Yumi, simply because they have slightly more range. And is Kai yeah, more by... range and same damage? So. Yeah, I mean, Way of a Bow will probably come in uh, quite quickly yeah, for uh, for Turk. So but... And six Kanya here. This is quite a good big big push if you can get the six Kanya to to take out the uh, the Yumi. So As there isn't any anti cav. If we look at units in Q, or units in Q, military units. Uh, yeah, oh, it's just a Damio. <laughs> Uh, these, once the veterancy does come in on the Yumi's, they are really strong, which is uh, one thing to remember. I mean, Kaiser is going to get a Henny Nico now. Three TPs, stage coach, he's uh, already here. Yeah, he's quite okay, far ahead of Nico. Yeah. He really is. I mean, Turk is uh, Turk's only on 70 population as a whole and, and 90... Um, out of 90, so basically Turk is, uh, he, he hasn't got a stellar economy at all. Yumi's are really strong, especially with where the bow here, but, um, yeah. I yeah, but I mean, Turk can never leave his base, and he's going to have to send cherry orchards next. Uh, yeah, and at the same time, he doesn't have much coin. He, he, he's having to push out his base for the, the cherries just on the outside of that wall, mm -hmm. one of which has uh, 800 food in it, and I... I I can't click on the other one. Yeah, only two hundred in the other one. So um, yeah, Turk is pushing, but at the same time, Kaiser's pushing into Turk's base. Yeah, it's just uh, better for Kaiser who he spots that somehow. <clears throat> yeah, he's gonna see that. Just gonna kill a ton of beers here. Yeah, Kaiser's got 15 elite candles now, and Turk's only anti cav is uh, five Yamabushis, which are miles away. And this, uh, once this golden pavilion goes down, Turk's units are going to take quite a hit to their damage. And ultimately. I'm not I... sure if Kaiser will get it, to be fair. No, probably not. But... Yeah, but Turk surely can't. Uh... He can't contest yeah, this. Turk can't really defend that properly, you know? Uh, well, it's going to be but. Doesn't have any anti cap besides three clubs, so I think I was just gonna be happy to take the pavilion for, down, yeah. for Yumi and the pavilion. It looks really laggy though. It does look a bit laggy, yeah. I can go out to be fair. Uh I, I think if you go out it's worse, um, because it lags when you when someone leaves just for like a split second. Um mm. I think I think it's fine. Um if they, if they complain, uh, we'll have you leave. But, uh, yeah. I mean, that, that, um, that Golden Pavilion for, for Japan is really strong. Basically, that just took off two, uh, two range attack with Yumi, which is uh, nothing to stuff at. Yeah. Now Kaiser's just going to siege some shrines, I guess. Um, Turk might have an opportunity to just counter push the middle. Yeah, he's going to take it. And Kaiser is going to go back. There are a lot of videos over here, actually. He's going to spot them because of the war huts, fortunately for him. Yeah, and uh, because he doesn't have any cavalry, he can't actually snare them. I mean, Turk cannot push that, to be fair. I mean, there's like, how many canyons are on the field? Yeah, 16 canyons if... versus no anti cav, and I mean, Kaiser is Ka just going to demolish this fight. Kaiser's also just sent the ship, so. Depending on what that shipment is, if that shipment is like, like five queer seers, oh, yeah. it just demolishes. Yeah, infantry combat even sent even then these uh, forest pillars are probably about equal with the uh, the Yumi's. Um, uh, without the pavilion, probably yeah. 
Yeah, and he's and... more attack, but for also more HP. Yeah, so um, at this point, it's just about who can uh, who can take the better fight. I think as uh, the ecos are roughly similar. Maybe it's Tommy's grenades right now. I think this is just good for Kaiser. Although Turk is making discipline ninety-nineers right now. So. Oh, I've just realised something. Turk, oh, yeah. Turk doesn't have any berries left. He has to send chariot to the next, which chariot, is. Just, but he sent five maggies instead. Yeah. Oh, maybe he's gonna send beers over here. I'm just gonna think this is kind of the spot, it's, but the lag really sucks. So... I think Kanye just yeah. gonna kill Nagin Adders pretty, pretty well. There's also the Musket Riders 2 DPS behind it, and. Yeah, I mean, this is GG, to be fair. Yeah, this is just gonna. Yeah, there's Turks own GG, and. There's, uh, there's the series over, a quick series compared to our last one. Um, but. Uh... Yeah, Kaiser just playing Iroquois on Germany, which uh, are two of his strongest sims, <laughs> so maybe yeah, the... Um, the best sims to play in this format. Yeah, and... Uh, <laughs> but, and some of the time he even basically had the... Um, basically had RV Euro, which is ridiculous. But uh, if we have yeah. a look at the post game, uh, you just look at how much... Uh, how many resources he actually had. Turk was actually behind... Most of the uh, most of the game after after he aged up, he was significantly behind. So um, I think it, it took Turk forever to age. To be fair, yeah. And he didn't have any presence on the map. If he had a couple of um, if he had like, like ten, uh, what are they called Naginatas when when Kaiser pushed as he aged would have been a, a, sort of a significant difference. But um, yeah, I I think that's us done for.